Welcome to Music Greatness. My name is Eli, and today we're going to be learning Friend of Mine by Odette Quesada. Here's how it sounds. All right, so that is the intro to Friend of Mine. First off, let's dive into the chords that we encounter in this section. So we're in the key of C major, and our first chord is F sharp half diminished. In the left hand, we have F sharp C, and in the right hand, A, E. Then we move to an F minor six. In the left hand, we have F, D, and in the right hand, A flat, D. Then we have E minor 7. In the left hand, E and B, and in the right hand, G and D. Then we move to A minor 7. Left hand, A, C, right hand, G, C. Then we have D minor 7. Octave D in the left hand with A in the middle, and in the right hand, C and F. Then we have G suspended 11. G in the bass, C, F, A in the right hand. And you can think of this as F major over G. Then we have C add 2. You can also call this C add 9. C and G in the left hand, D, E, C in the right hand. All right, now that you know the chords that we have in the intro, I'm going to play them in time so you can hear the harmonic rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now you know the harmony of the intro, so you have a foundation of what's happening. So let's break down how to play each part more specifically. I'll play the first few bars here so you can hear what they sound like. So, first off, we have this little lead in, three note lead in, with G, F, and E. And the rhythm is so we have G, F, E, E. And this time the E is above F sharp, C, and A. So it's part of the F sharp half diminished. So again that's Then we hold out that F sharp half diminished for three beats, and we do another lead in with D, C, D. And underneath the second D, we have F, D, and A flat. And this is our F minor six chord. So. We then hold out that F minor 6 for a bar. Then we move to our E minor 7. And we do a very similar lead in to the last two with C, B, C. And we land on the A minor 7. So. C, 
B, C. So that's the first four bars of the intro. Now let's take a listen to the next few bars. So let's break down the first bar here. We have in the right hand, that's C for two beats. And then we have this descending line, E, D, C, A. One, two, three, and four, and. And underneath that, we're arpeggiating a D minor chord. So together we have Then in the next bar we have our G suspended 11 G F A C We hold this for two beats 1 2 And then we have this triplet ascending line that consists of C D E So that's 1 And that leads right into this bar of E minor 7. That's G, B, D, C. And we're doing that above E and G, which we're holding for all four beats. Then, still holding down this C, we have the shell of an A minor 7, A, G. We hold the C and the A and the G for two beats, and then we do our same lead in line of G, F, E. So together that's one, two, three. Keep in mind that when we have this lead in line again of G, F, E, we're still holding the A and the G in the left hand. So one more time. Now here's the next few bars. So this is very similar to the beginning, except now we have some arpeggiation going on in the left hand. So in this first bar, in the right hand, we're just holding out A and E. And in the left hand, we have the rest of the F sharp half diminished, which is F sharp and C. And still while holding out the A and E, we hit this chord, and then we go A, C, D, E. And we hold out the E for the rest of the bar. And in response to the E, we have the lead-in that we had in the beginning with D, C, D. So that's... Then, similarly to the F sharp half diminished, we kind of arpeggiate the F minor 6. So we have and that is A flat, C, D, E, D, C, A flat. So we have our lead in D, C, D, Do our pattern all while holding this A flat to D tritone in the top. So those two bars again sound like then just like in the first part of the intro we move to our E minor 7 and then to our A minor 7. So that's E minor 7 C D C on top of the A minor 7.
we have that C, D, E triplet again. So, one, two, three, four, and one, two, triplet. And this time, we are going to go to our D minor seven, and we have the octave arpeggio. So this next bar, these next two bars actually sound like this. So in the right hand, we have that's CF. So we hold that out. Then we hit the C again. And then we go up an octave, C, and back down to the C, F, G. So I'll do it slowly. One, two, and three, and four, and. And in the left hand, we have this simple octave fifth arpeggio. D, A, D. And we're holding this last D with our C, F, G pattern. So that bar again. Then this G leads directly up to an A where we have our G suspended 11. So we have and this next bar is so our right hand is playing this F major triad which is the upper structure of our G suspended 11 and then we go so that's F major triad, C, C. We hold out this C at the top. One and two and three, four. And our left hand is similarly to the D, A, D pattern. It's the same rhythm, but we have G, E, F. So those two bars. Now let's hear our final two bars of the intro. So in this bar, we're simply holding out our C add two or C add nine. The two and the nine are the same scale degree. That's why you can call it either one. C, G, D, E, C. We hold that for four beats. And then in this last bar, we have F, E, C, G. And we sort of play the F, E together and the C, G together. So it sounds like one, two, and three, and four. So those two bars together, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four. All right. Congratulations, you made it. Now you know the intro to Friend of Mine by Odette Quesada. Let's recap what we just learned. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you would like to access the entire course, you can head over to musicgreatness.com. Thanks for stopping by and have a wonderful day.